Hey everyone, welcome back to more uh, Legend of Zelda here. This is the Zelda classic version of First Quest here. And uh, let us get going here. So again, the first quest was just a lot of grinding. I uh, got level 3 out of the way. And we're gonna probably tack a whole bunch of levels in this part. So the setup I have, um, I explained that all in the last part. Looks like it's working pretty decently here. The big thing is I can play with my with the D-pad, so you know you get a lot better two two dimension control here. Rather than trying to do a use a control stick, which is it's possible. I you know I've done it, but it's just harder. Again, I'm probably gonna see if I can explore every room here, since this is just a routine playthrough here. See what's in uh, each room here. I really need half this stuff because I really, I mean, you know, at least you know how to get to the end of the level. Okay, no tricks here. This is the good old classic first quest here. Uh, second quest will be the same thing. You know, if you played that before, same thing. Same rules apply. It's when you get it's when you actually get to all the custom stuff that all the rules can change. Having blue ring always helps. So you know, in general, any quest you play, if you can get blue ring, uh, pretty highly recommend it. Because you just get good mileage out of getting that blue ring. Second quest will be a little more interesting. How I'm gonna, how am I gonna do my money grinding here? Because it's you can't just grind off the, the red levers. That's how I usually do it. I usually grind money off the red levers because I know I'm guaranteed to get uh, five rupee drops. Uh, you don't get that anymore. I'm gonna have to figure out how to get my how to grind up cash here because again they don't give you any of the 100. They only give you one. Yeah, not manhandle because like just a, a regular mini boss. Why do you put that lock down there? Because there's doesn't lead to anything. I 
I don't think you ever have two items in the same room. Like, you can't have, like, a key and a blue rupee, or two keys, or map and compass, you know, those types of combinations. Yeah, that's not a very useful hint. Uh, it just leads you to some pay-for-advice type of thing. Although it is more useful later on. Uh, uh, other quest. Which actually make use of that waterfall. See, you have plenty of ways to save keys here because you can get around all the, most some of the locks here. Sword beam, so not that, not that big an issue though. Probably tank this thing out. All right. Uh, again, the reason I do three and four first is because the items you get are actually useful. Actually, level 2 is, like, useless. 1 is almost useless. Uh, because you don't really use that item for a while. Now again, there's, like, a, a third and fourth quest. It took me a good while to map the overworld. Um, I was trying to find a... I think there's some websites that had some of these maps. Or, like, mapping the levels, mapping pretty much all that other stuff. No, I had to pretty much map it myself. You know, just to get a sense of where everything is here. Otherwise, you know, I'll be wandering around the place. No point in watching. You know, you're wandering around for hours at a time here. I might as well use up these 30s I've got right here. Good thing about, you know, most of these Zelda games, uh, you can... Uh, let me see if this trick still works. I don't know, they, did they fix this in the ZC? Uh, no, okay, it's still there. So they probably just took it right off the original NES, so... <laughs> the good old lock trick still works there. I, mean, I think that's the only place you can actually do that. You just glitch out the first lock. Yeah, see? No, no tricks here. You know, exact same way you're playing this. I'm gonna remember to try to explore as many rooms as possible here because I'm so tempted to, you know, kind of do it the somewhat faster way. I might actually forget to explore a couple rooms here because I may not catch that in time. Uh, but again, you can look up any map here curious as to what is in some of these rooms here. I 
point, I, I don't even know what half these clues mean, so... It's like about Eastmost Peninsula. I don't know if that's supposed to be the upper right corner of the map or something. Yeah, those guys normally do drop bombs, so no tricks there. Good to get a feel for this year. But again, it looks like this system should record pretty well, so the uh, later quest I decide to do uh, should record okay with this. Because it's the same format I'm going to be using here. before you, you get anything, which, you, know, you can do that. In first quest, you can certainly get away with that, but, I, you know, you, once you get to a later quest, I kind of don't recommend doing that, because they can get kind of brutal. shortage of money here. I think I'm actually doing, you know, well enough that I can buy everything I need here. And two clocks right next to each other. I'm gonna go get that 30 rupee thing, actually. Have that on back up here in case I need it. You know, it's right down here. I'm just gonna pick it up. some more goodies before going to level 2 here. Now maybe they changed this screen a little bit. I'm not sure if that looks exactly the same. I don't really pay attention to that, but, you know, it has the same thing in it, so who's really counting here? I'm picking up the 
boost change around here. A lot of ones here, actually. Drops there, not that I really need any of that. So, yeah, again, be a pretty quick playthrough, or maybe again at later levels, level 9 in particular. Because that's actually what well, took me a while just to grid the whole thing, and. Take me a little bit more time just to go through the darn level in its entirety. Because you have to basically make circles because go through all the dead ends and stuff. Like maxed out on rupees already, so should not have any trouble with uh, not having enough money to buy everything I need here. Pocket another five rupees for the change here. Maybe I shouldn't have gotten that thirty because I might actually waste some money here. Look at that, another five right there. up any of your keys here because you just bombed the whole right side here. Yeah, you don't need to defeat all the enemies because there's only going to be a compass there. You don't have a compass and like five rupees on top of it. in this room here. I'm pretty much gonna keep bombing up here. See, there's so many broken walls here, you can pretty much shortcut half the level and save like three or four keys here. short level. I mean, literally get through these in a, in a hurry here. here for some reason. Uh, yeah, that's, that trick still works. Uh, I'm, pretty, you know, I'm pretty sure you can do it with one bomb, but it's a little trickier to do that. 
I've had to at least get one guaranteed hit in. Alright, uh, let's see what the... What to go after next here. I'm gonna go after level six right now. And since that's right by the magic sword here. It's kinda odd that lever got stuck in the wall there. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to spend money here, so. Cause I, I'm nearly maxed out right now. the road here, they'll make the restarting a little easier. It's a lot easier, you don't have to switch, you know, keep going into the start menu, just choose your items here, you can actually just, you know, just change them on the go here. Not always the best case, there may be some times where actually, you actually do want to just pause the game to switch items. Because otherwise, remember, the enemies keep moving. So, unless you know exactly what you're going to switch to here. I'm trying to figure out how much more money I need right now. I think I just need the... Uh, two bomb upgrades, I think. Same rules apply, so if you leave only one enemy outside, um, you know, there'll always be just one enemy left, so. In the dungeons, though, I think if you exit the dungeons, they come back, so. <clears throat> yeah, I don't even know why you would waste a key for this. I mean, uh, the weak point would be kind of obvious. See, I have like eight, eight extra keys right now. I mean, no shortage of keys here. be a little bit annoying to try to take out everything because uh, wizards aren't exactly the friendliest enemies around. It's a little easier when you have sword beams on your side, but if you don't have any sword beams, you're gonna have to learn to be a little bit clever with them. I will not complain about clocks here. Because that's just an automatic free pass for you here. Yeah, so you can actually skip this Leoc battle here. Completely. Not that it's that difficult. Especially with the magic sword, everything, you know, takes half as many hits now. So, 
this one. Uh, again, I got plenty of keys. I can afford to waste some keys here. half a tile below. Somehow the shots will miss you. Yeah, if you're really trying to save keys, then yeah, you gotta know which way's the bomb here. But again, no need to save keys here. So that's a hint for level 7. I guess if you're playing the game for the first time, that might be a little bit tricky to figure out because you wouldn't know where to search for level 7. So, like, what's the point of doing it? A good thing with, like, rooms with, like, bubbles in them. Bubbles or traps. Uh, as long as you don't leave the level, the enemies just don't come back. Totally can. Spam that to your advantage. We're clearing out rooms pretty nicely here. hearts here. I'm almost got caught by that light right there. I'm not, not good, I'm just buying another shield. I'm not in a good spike. I get the light likes out of here. They're freaking tracking me down here. Okay, I'm not having not supposed to be having this much trouble, but I freaking light likes are giving me problems here. so much trouble with that room. Hopefully I can find some recovery hearts here. At least get myself something back here. So you can hold more than nine keys, FYI. Not that you need this many keys anyway. I don't even know if I should go down because there's really nothing down here.
As long as I get enough hearts here, I'm gonna be okay here. I see, you only get bombs for this. Okay, I had a little more trouble in that level than I thought, but anyway, I'm gonna clear this thing out. Okay, so I'll just take a break here, and next up, uh, we'll tackle a few more levels. Uh, down the line here. We took out a bunch on this part and take out a few more on the next part. Alright, see you guys later.